Until now, the majority of the videos you've enjoyed online regarding Xera have all focused on the end user interface and the end user functionality, the efficiencies that are found inside, the intuitiveness of that interface. Today, we're going to take a bit of a peek into the back end administrative feature and discuss a little bit around the simplicity of importing and exporting data into Xera. We've really tried to keep this very, very simple for the administrator to come in and make use of. As you can see here, I'm in the Xera Manager. At the very top, I come over to my Import tab. I have a series of options here designed to make this, again, incredibly easy to take data in from any tool or platform that you're working with. We can import from a data or a CSV. We can import from iConnect XML. This is really designed to allow you to move data back and forth much easier from iConnect system to other iConnect system. For example, from an in-house system to one at a hosting partner, vice versa, as well as supporting EDRM XML. For simplicity's sake, importing from a data or a CSV allows you to pull in data from virtually any review platform or any tool in this industry. These are very industry standard load files. First, I simply need to choose the database that is going to receive my data. I've got a sample of some Enron data set here. I come over and I choose the appropriate delimiters. Now I can work with tab, dat, or CSV. In this case, I'm going to grab a CSV. I'm going to simply apply that. I can, of course, customize my delimiters if I'd like. And I can also save this as an easy template. As I maneuver through the wizard, I simply select the file I wish to import. Off of my desktop, I've got my sample file in place here, and what you'll notice is we conveniently map up all matching field names. Odds are pretty good. You're going to want to keep those consistent from the record we're about to import to the fields in the database. However, you'll notice if there is something that is a little different, we flag that with a simple ignore the field on the import file, or in this case we can map up and notice that the date sent field I set in my database has no space in the name. However, the load file actually had it spaced out. So again, very easy to come in and put those together. We can manipulate our date formats as they come into the database. Walk through. At this stage, we can also automatically allocate this load to various records in the database. If I wish to do so, I can pick the panel I wish that to be on. For example, as a good best practice, we like to say keep up a general folder. Give it a simple name, easy to find any data loads down the road. And you can also add subfolders at this point in time. Works well if you've collected from a particular custodian, etc., and you want to automatically load those on import to a folder. Oh, actually, do not want there to be any subfolders. There is a great example of how the wizard will ensure you filled out everything properly. If you'd like to add any comments, you're able to come in and do so. Move to the end, and I can simply click import, and my progress bar begin to go. Similarly, if I was to work on an export, the same options are available to me. Choose the database I wish to export data from. In this case, I'll grab my Enron one. And I can export this out as a delimited file, much like I had imported. I can export it out as iConnect XML, or I can export it out as EDRM XML. My options export all records or only the documents from a particular folder. And we'll see here all the folders in my database are in place. I'll grab this one in particular. Choose the template I wish to use, almost identical to the import in reverse order. I can include all field names or choose only selected fields, including all of my foldering, coding, and organizational panels may be included. I can pick and choose the ones I want. For simplicity's sake, I'll simply say export out all fields. Choose the location I wish to export to.
add some comments to go along with this if I'd like. And then I can click finish and move on the rest. Again, much like the user front end, when it comes to Xura, simple intuitive wizards, a simple intuitive interface, all from the platform that works the way you think.